Hi there, I'm Caitlin McDonald with the Social Speak Network, and today we're going to be talking about the six tips for successful healthcare marketing campaigns. Digital marketing has become the new wave of healthcare marketing with growing competition in the healthcare industry. It's important to stay top of digital marketing and keep your organization at the forefront of change. Today, the competition is getting tougher and patients are getting smarter. Many of them even turn to Google for quick answers for health-related concerns. If you wanna get more customers in your door, then you need to get in front of your audience and have a solid presence online. Otherwise, someone else will. This is why it's important to have a healthcare marketing plan so you can reach potential and existing patients at the best time. Ever wonder what it takes to create a successful healthcare marketing campaign? We are going to review six tips that you can incorporate right today. Number one, know your target audience. A successful healthcare marketing campaign starts with knowing your audience and what they value. So to produce great results, you need to first have a well-defined persona profile. So vividly picture what it is that you want to attract to your office. What matters most to them? What questions do they have? Just carefully and precisely figure out who this target audience is. Also identify if there are any decision makers that this audience turns to. You want your message to both appeal to the target audience as well as anybody who's going to help them make that decision to turn to you and your practice. The second tip is to combine healthcare and social media. Today, social media isn't just a place for family and friends to stay in touch. People also use them to promote their business and reach their audience. The power of social media extends to all industries, including healthcare. Social media platforms like Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, even Pinterest can help you reach a wider audience and connect with your followers. It also will help you drive traffic and leads to your website. So now that you know who your target audience is, it'll be easier for you, you to reach your key audience by tapping into online communities and sharing health information. Um, so keep in mind though, that each platform has its own voice and its own audience. When you create social media content, make sure that that message is tailored towards the different audiences and channels. So for example, if you work with young adults, you might find TikTok or Instagram's a great way to connect with them, but potentially the decision makers that drive them to come into your door and schedule that consultation could be on LinkedIn or on Facebook. So you have to, be able to um, weigh the pros and cons of each network, as well as figure out what type of messaging, maybe it's case studies that you're putting on LinkedIn, but not really publishing so many of them on Facebook. So you need to figure out what that content strategy is for each of the networks and stay consistent with it. The next item is to make wellness a lot more fun. Health and wellness is a serious topic but that doesn't mean that your campaign should be boring and uninspiring. So let's take cues from United Healthcare's successful healthcare marketing campaign, We Dare You. United Healthcare created an interactive campaign that dares people to make one small change to live healthier lives and document it on social media. Each month there were new challenges and quizzes aimed at inspiring people to live a healthier lifestyle. The multi-awarded We Dare You campaign not only led to healthier habits, but it also fostered that interactive online community of loyalists. The next one is to an establish, excuse me, to establish an email marketing campaign. Email marketing is an effective means of transmitting mes messages to your current and prospective audience. In fact, studies suggest that email marketing is 40 times more effective at acquiring new customers compared to Facebook and Twitter. When done right, it can help you grow your audience, grow your practice, and reach a larger amount of target patients. 
With email marketing, your audience is openly receptive and it's relatively low cost compared to spending thousands of dollars each month in advertising campaigns. Typically, however, we make sure that on any request a consultation form or form on your website, there's a check mark that somebody can select to receive marketing information from you and your practice. This opens up the doors to not only boost the ROI of the current campaigns that you have, but also stay top of mind with those individuals who maybe wanted to schedule a consultation, but couldn't quite find the time to pick up the phone and get it on the books. <clears throat> now, the fifth one is to Google yourself. Studies suggest that physicians and other medical practitioners receive up to 45% of new patients through referrals. Though most patients would consider the referral of other doctors, families, and friends, a majority of them will also reach out to Google, search on Google, and check your reputation before booking an appointment. The survey revealed 60% of patients wouldn't book an appointment with a medical practitioner that had bad reviews. So Google yourself now. It might seem silly, but it's actually pretty important. By running a quick Google search on yourself, you'll have a good idea of how your practice looks from a consumer's perspective, and you'll know where to start creating your digital strategy. You also want to make sure that all the information about you is correct and updated. If you do unearth some negative uh, results, try and take the post down or at least reply to that comment with a thoughtful, kind response. Um, we always recommend at least trying to take that conversation back offline um, so that you can resolve it with that patient. Uh, if nothing else, it shows that you are taking the time to really care for your patients on and offline before and after their appointments. And the last one, is to be a source of health, helpful information. In today's digital world, most people's inclination would be open to be to open up a browser in Google and research about their own or their loved one's conditions. With so many people turning to the internet for answers, it's important to make um, healthcare marketing as helpful as possible for your practice. We recommend thinking about the top questions that people often ask you before they make a decision to come in, when they're making the decision to come in, and at those appointments and follow-up appointments. From here, you can record yourself or another uh, physician or specialist answering those questions. So then you will have the transcript, you'll have a video, and you will have social media posts as well as content to include in newsletters that specifically answer that question. With the rise of mobile searches on Google, we're finding more and more searches being for long form questions. And so by making content that fits in with that mold, you actually are better positioning yourself not only to serve your patient, but also to be ranked more highly for Google. So I hope that these tips have been helpful for you. Again, these were the six tips for a successful healthcare marketing campaign. Again, my name is Caitlin McDonald. I'm here with the Social Speak Network. And if you have any questions about how to best manage your marketing campaigns for your healthcare practice, we would love to chat. Head on over to socialspeaknetwork.com, click that free consultation button, and we'll get a call scheduled. Thanks so much, and I'll see you next time.